Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Andrus, and today I'll be showing you how to use a servo tester to center your servos. Now, if you don't have a servo tester yet, I would suggest that you get one. Uh, we have one for under 10 bucks just in our store. Uh, it'll be linked down in the description below. So first, you wanna put your servo arm on uh, as close to 90 degrees as possible. We might be adjusting that later. And then let's go ahead and plug in our servo. Uh, make sure when you do this that you're plugging it in the right way. Your servo tester should have the negative connector labeled the positive rail labeled, and the servo or the signal wire labeled. The way these wires are colored, black or brown is always negative, red is always positive, and yellow or white is always the signal wire. Now a simple way to power your servo tester is to uh, grab a battery. It can be any size battery with any cell count. The important thing is to plug it in with the balance lead and not the main battery connector. The main connector delivers all the voltage in the battery while the balance connector delivers voltage from each individual cell. Now, as you can see, the servo tester has uh, four outputs for your servo and your battery connection. It doesn't matter which one you put your servo into or your battery into. The positive and negative rails are all connected, so it should be the same. I'm going to be plugging the battery into the outside one just so you can see it. So when you plug your battery in, take the balance connector and locate the farthest red wire out on the outside, and that one will go to the positive rail. The next wire over, whatever color it is, will go to the negative rail. So when you plug it in, it'll look like this. Be sure not to plug this into the top servo signal rail because that can mess up your servo tester. Now that both our battery and our servo are connected, we can go ahead and center the servo. You'll see that this servo tester, there's three different modes. Manual, neutral, and automatic. In manual mode, you can turn the servo by just turning the knob. In automatic mode, the servo just turns back and forth by itself. But for servo centering, we want to be in neutral mode. That'll just put the servo right to center. Now that your servo is centered, you can put the servo arm on. Now most of the time, this will just go on 90 degrees to the servo like this, but you can put it on in any orientation depending on your build. Now as you can see, this servo arm isn't precisely at 90 degrees to the servo. Now this is because the servo has teeth on it. You can't get it exactly right at 90, but just put it as close as possible and you can sub trim your way to 90. Now we can unplug our servo from the servo tester and screw in our servo arm. As you're doing this, support the servo arm with your finger so that it doesn't rotate. And that's all there is to sending your servos. Happy building. See you next time.